Formula One season. Indeed. Um, times have changed, but have they changed for the better or the worse? No, for the better, definitely, yes. Didn't you like those cars and driving those? Because they were different to drive than these cars. It was less they political, maybe. Yeah, less there's different chapters of what you may like or, or dislike, but uh, through the development of all those years, um, it has been interesting to follow this one. And yes. the good thing is Formula One just never stands still. It just always keeps going, always keeps developing, always new items, new stuff. And whether it's different, it's not different, uh, uh, it's not the point, but it's this constant uh, forward. Yes, I think, I think the biggest difference probably is, has been like when you, Eddie's team, Eddie Jordan's team, where you started was a big Formula 3000 team almost. And, and the teams have grown from like, you know, 50 people, 100 people to God knows how many people. Yeah, I mean, that is obviously different. I mean, uh, yeah. you can't do as easy or you can't enter Formula One as easy as you used to. But I think it is uh, in all professional sports, that's the normal uh, happening. Yeah. Have you realized that if you would have done one more year, you would have had all the records in Formula One? Because most stars is still held by Rubens. Yeah, but you know, I, I prefer the records for success rather yes. than for being around. <laughs> I figured you would say that. <laughs> Talk about success. I mean, the first success came at Benetton. Um, what I remember of the early years was a fight with the Ford engine against the Renaults. That was the main, and even the Hondas. Yeah, that was pretty exciting because uh, we were probably a little down in power at the time. Yeah. But then we had a good package, uh, especially on the 94 year um, it was uh, very obvious in, in certain moments but then it shows you occasionally it's not about uh, not all about horsepower it's yeah. it's about drivability fuel consumption it's a package uh, many other items that Team they work teamwork for sure uh, and then uh, not to be forgotten the aerodynamic side yeah and then the big the big jump to ferrari with very difficult early years uh, basically, it was one difficult year. I mean, it was the '96 that that was a bit of a shock. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, we <laughs> How big of a shock was it? <laughs> we had a parachute as a as a as a race car. And, yes. uh, but other than that, I mean, we still managed to win uh, three races in that year. And um, I think the highs, we the highs were good. The highs were good. But I remember, I think it was the French Grand Prix where you didn't even get to the start yeah. because the engine stopped. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, that's uh, some of the moments. Uh, that you'd rather forget about. Yeah, but could you see then, like, in time, that team would be unbeatable? Or did you, did you think that the success would come earlier? I mean, nobody could have imagined that we would have had a series from 2000 to 2004. That was not imagine, uh, no. something to imagine, but it was to imagine that we will become a top team, yes. Yeah, it's almost like you can imagine you fight for the championship every year, but not want to win it every year. No, that, that was something you never... Anyway, can I mean? But it's more, most important you can develop as a team to be a competitor for for so long, and we were. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of teammates learned a lot from you in, in doing certain things a certain way, like your fitness level, for instance. And did you learn from teammates? And what did you learn from them? I always learn, yes, and yeah. I always learn from any driver that is in the paddock because I will analyze every person, every little detail as much as I can in order to see what they're doing different to what I do in order then to uh, keep on improving because Formula One is about a constant improvement in every little area. It's not about suddenly somebody makes one thing completely no. different. It's, it's uh, lots of little details that, that uh, as a combination that make the, that make the big picture. Yeah. Um, going back, then you came back to Mercedes and in a way, have you enjoyed the last couple of years more than the previous years? Uh, no, because it was less. No, that's mm. not possible to no, enjoy I mean, them more. But <laughs> no, it's, but uh, it has been a good and interesting time. Yeah, as a human in particular. That's what I, I mean. I mean, not as the a, success as, as like yeah, winning no, races, I, but as a human, if you go through difficult times and you can sustain and you can actually grow and uh, develop yourself still. That is what uh, makes you even stronger. And that's what I feel. I feel like a much more mature person, much more open, much more easygoing uh, mm. than I ever have been before, uh, with me not having uh, the success that I was wishing for. Yeah, but that's the result on the track, maybe not what you wish for, but the result off the track is, is a big bonus yeah, then. <laughs> yeah, but uh, hindsight, I've had so many good days of, yeah. of success, so 
you mm. can't you can't always have everything that, that you wish for. Yeah. Um, there's a couple of young kids coming up in Dutch kids. Uh, they've just tested the Formula One car. Any any tips for them? Like what you should do? I mean, apart from getting all your publicity and, and, and money in, in place, the word I was I was thinking of was determination to get there. Because determination, if I have, I have to characterize you with one word, especially in the early days, was determination. I mean, it's it's uh, a thousand percent focus on what you do. Yeah. I mean, you want to win races, you want to win championship, you better focus on that one. You don't worry for what, what is the side business. Yeah. And uh, I think because I, I have set some, some new standards in, in that respect, not only fitness, but in, in, in other respects, and I think uh, uh, the smart young generation can easily understand and see and if they want to go uh, a similar route, then um, they know what, what uh, could be some of the guidelines. Yeah. They not all have to be the same because each one is a different character and each one has to find his own path. But uh, it's, as I said before, I will look at every person around in order to try and absorb something yeah. and learn from it and, yeah. and, and still keep on developing myself. And that's, that's probably the most important bit. Yeah. After racing Formula One cars, I suppose, uh, things like Le Mans or maybe even the Dakar Rally, which is really popular in Holland, are not on your radar at the moment. Oh no, not no. at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> no. There are much more fun things to do. Yes, um, quickly talk about that because um, I think we might see each other more next year, even more than this year. <laughs> not only that, we might even compete. <laughs> yeah, exactly. For the first time in our lives. <laughs> yeah, you like the horses. Corinna uh, loves them. Um, I think you like them, love them because of Corinna. And, and I got to love them and learn them and understand them through yeah. Corinna, absolutely, yeah. And it's uh, a world that uh, I'd like to have some part participation in the very low-level class, not, not yeah. anything like about... Like me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but you're almost expert now already. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> if you go for horses, then you've got to go for those horses because they have that particular and yeah. special character, Yeah. so well-balanced and, uh, yeah, just uh, good companies. Yeah. Can I thank you for the last 20 years, giving all the fans back home and me some really nice things to watch. And uh, I really look forward to competing against you next year, Michael. Well, let's keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much.